I chose the HR department with an ILR after doing an extensive amount of research, looking at the faculty CVs and getting a sense of what type of research they were doing. I found that the department provided an extensive um, faculty backgrounds and different research methods and topics that really aligned with my interests. And I scheduled a, a meeting to come on campus to meet with the faculty members and also to talk with the students. And I think the combination of my homework prep time in advance of that on-campus visit and then coming in for the campus visit and having a chance to talk to the faculty members about their research as well as the students really helped to solidify my decision um, that this was the right school for me. One of the key things for me was finding faculty members that were doing research in my area of interest. I'm interested in small group and teams research, looking at um, team effectiveness, learning outcomes, as well as creativity. And there were a variety of faculty members who are doing research extensively in those areas. It's the kind of environment where you, you have to be comfortable working, I call, in the gray zone, right? So a lot of things are spelled out, but there are a lot of things that are not spelled out. And for some students, they are not uncomfortable with that flexibility, that autonomy to figure out what areas they want to focus on. But the great thing about the ILR and Cornell's program specifically is the fact that it gives us that intellectual freedom. I think one of the things that I really love about Central New York and about Ithaca is, one, it's a low cost of living area. As a graduate student, um, living on a student budget, that's one of the considerations one thinks about. It's also a very um, family friendly environment. It's a town where everyone's very focused on health and fitness and so it's an overall a positive um, living environment that really helps to stimulate creativity and thinking as a student and it doesn't have a lot of distractions and it's a very safe um, city to live in so I think when I was considering um, schools one of the other items in my decision matrix clearly was living environment since you're in the area for about five or six years while you're working on the program, you do want to have an area and a city that kind of thrives and helps you t to um, be successful. And I think Ithaca provides that. The program takes about five years, so for most individuals, um, they're looking to go on the job market, they're finishing up the dissertation in their fifth year. So at the place I'm in the program now as the second year, my next big milestone is taking my comprehensive exams and then defending my dissertation proposal and then working on my dissertation. Following um, that effort, obviously my goal is to, to obtain an assistant faculty position at a top tier research one university where I'll be able to, to continue my research and to make a contribution in the field um, as well as to make a contribution with other students who I'll be training to be researchers. At this point in the program, I've been able to get involved with submitting um, journal articles, uh, submitting research papers to, to journals, and e getting involved in the research projects at a very early stage in the PhD program. So ultimately, as a um, assistant faculty member, my goal is to really to generate a pipeline of research so I'm able to really build an identity within the field and make a major contribution.